Hello. Happy to be here, January in New York. This is my favorite time of year. The holidays are over. You ain't got to talk to nobody anymore. You ain't got to go nowhere. You know, you're not legally obligated to visit your family for another nine months. Are we basking? I'm basking. I love seclusion. But I feel like if you're well-adjusted, it's your responsibility to check on your gloomy friends in January. You know that, right? Like people like me, you need a cheerful friend. They come over, open drapes and that's their favorite thing to do, you know? Why are you sitting in the dark, you know? That broad. I have a cheerful friend. I can only see her like twice a month or I'll kill her, but I need her, you know what I mean? I need her, I need her. She's always telling me I'm depressed. You're depressed, you should go to therapy. You know, she white. And uh, that's a joke. Black people go to therapy. We, we just started last year, it's brand new, we in there with the healing and the crying and whatnot, we in there. I went to a couple sessions, I did. But it just made me feel like I was paying a lot of money to tell this lady, like, look, you're gonna need to mind your damn business, okay? You can't be asking me all these personal questions. You know, it's just, I, I can't do it, I can't do it. But my one and only resolution this year was to be more outwardly, you know, cheerful and nice, you know, because people like those people I've been observing. People like the top of the morning, you know sociopaths, but uh, I don't trust it. I don't trust you. What do they always say about cheerful people? Y'all say it with me. I would not have thought that he'd have all those bodies in his basement. Isn't that what they always say? About you every time on the news, that's what they always say. Some woman on the news, neighbor at the bottom. Not Scott! He's so nice, you know, every time, you know? We'd have barbecues, he'd always bring the meat. Wait a minute. <laughs> but I gotta do something. Last year, I went a little crazy, little meaning a lot, you know? And you know how sometimes Netflix will say something like, are you still there? That's what they say. I swear to God, last winter, my Netflix said, you a'ight? A-I-G-H-T, you know? And then Alexa was like, she been watching Law and Order for like 37 hours. Like, should we call somebody, you know? Because Alexa's a snitch. We all know that, that's her whole job. We keep buying it, she's a snitch, you know? And last year, this is how you know the world is falling apart because this story came and went. Last year they said Alexa had a computer bug that's making it laugh in the middle of the night by its, no, what? No, that's my worst nightmare. I'm such a coward, like I've just recently, well into my 30s, been able to fall asleep with my leg hanging off the bed a little bit for the monsters, you know? That's how you know you're grown when you do it on purpose. Like, I wish you would eat me. <laughs> Your paint over in here, you know what I mean? So, that's how you know you made it. <laughs> but I don't want y'all to think I'm some sad sack, you know what I mean? I get happy sometimes, you know what I mean? I remember the last time I was happy, but what I really believe is if black people project that we're too happy, you know, bad things happen, you know? Not just for us, for everybody, you know what I mean? The last time I remember being really happy was when Obama was in the White House and there was about 100 black people swag surfing in the White House. Now, I can tell that y'all don't know what swag surfing is, so <laughs> it is a dance. It's very celebratory, you know what I mean? It's out here, and I, I wasn't even there, but I remember watching it like, oh my God, like, look at us, we're in there, you know what I mean? We're so happy, you know? Now look what happened. We should have kept it tight, you know? You gotta keep it. You gotta keep it tight. That's me, 2019, right here, boom. Happy New Year, thank you guys for having me.